Hey y'all, it's your girl Shakara Midbone, Jada Vassar, and Anthony Brinson, and this is All Shades of Chocolate, where we bring the sweetest, the hottest, black, black culture, culture MSU. MSU. Alright, so look, for this special episode, since uh, with our topic, y'all have probably seen it from the title, we go act like this is a YouTube channel. So, alright, hi guys, welcome today, welcome to our YouTube welcome video. Welcome to our YouTube channel! Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> right, right, right. That's gonna be a crazy thing to transcribe. It's gonna be, oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna just be like, yeah, both. <laughs> but no, for this episode, we're kind of um, continuing the theme of like just stuff we like to talk about, to be honest. And we wanted to do an episode about YouTube and the YouTubers we watch and the content creators we watch. Because when we did our entertainment episode, we forgot to actually address that, which is surprising because that was one of like the main topics. But just to um, start us off, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Somebody y'all want to shout out? It's so many, bro. Yeah, mine's grown up. It was Diara Ken. I used oh to love them a lot. Yes. I used to love the little couple channels. You had um, Chrissy and Damo. Mm-hmm. Do you know? Mm-hmm. Yes, I used to love them. But mine's was really Diara Ken and Jay Versace. He, also, mm. he's a um, producer now. He's a Grammy nominated producer now, and he was like on Vine. But yeah, they my top three. So. Man, I, I'm i trying to think. Like, the first people I started watching on YouTube, okay, so I kind of like the vloggy couple of YouTube, yeah. but I also really like the gamers. But I also remember, like, the first game I really, really watched was Dashy. And I really, like, Dashy Games. And I really, really watched him because he yelled a lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I always just wanted to know, what are you yelling about? But I look at the games, and I'm like, okay, that I, I would yell too if I was in your position. And I failed as many times as you did. But, you yeah, know, shout out to him. Shout out to Burleazy, yeah. Corey Kenshin. Uh, those are the people I watch. Corey, come back. Let us know you're alive, all right? As a longtime supporter and in Michigan State fan, just let us know you're okay. You know? <laughs> but, you know, take your time. Love you still. But yeah, Burleazy, um, RDC World, um, AMP. Um, going back to the one random phase I had when I was a kid, Dan and Phil, when they were really, really hype and coming up in their YouTube career, I love them. I still love them. I'm glad they made a comeback. But yeah, them. Um, and then I watch like the groups that I watch. I also watch their like individual YouTubes and like their Twitch streams and stuff. So I support groups, and then I also support like them individual their individuality as a creator. Question: I'm Twister. Do y'all remember who Twains is? Yeah, I used to. I was just watched them too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, I got a question for you, Shakira. You mentioned like the couples and stuff, right? Yeah. So did you watch Damien and? Beyond. Oh my God! <laughs> shout out, shout out, bro. Damien and Beyond. I ain't gonna lie, they was the original, you know, YouTube couples. Mm-hmm. I ain't watched them though. I'm sorry, I just I watched, couldn't. I, I watched them. If you couldn't tell by me doing, I watched, yeah, them. I watched yeah. Them from time to time. They I watched crazy. CJ so cool though. I've been popping behind us. My brother got actually got me into him, but yeah. Oh my God! Who do you watch? So, I watch a lot of more, like, reactionary content, like, reaction videos of, like, shout out, um, it's a reactor and rapper named Screwface John, that's one of my favorite, my, really my favorite YouTuber, he does reaction videos and also is a musician. I can think of people, like, who I used to watch back in the day. Um, so, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, if I haven't mentioned on this podcast before, and I used to watch a lot of, um, content creators who made Dragon Ball content, specifically Mm -hmm. around the game, uh, the fighting game, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And it was YouTubers like um, uh, Cabby, I think that was his name. Um, There's another guy who did content about like Dragon Ball manga. His name was Unrelent Gaming. It was, uh, by the way, I didn't know Jay Versace was a YouTuber at first. I know you're a producer. Well, yeah, he was more of a Viner, but he started to get like YouTube around like 2016. So I was just like, yeah, I'm I'm watching because he's Mm -hmm. my favorite Viner. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Oh, another YouTuber I used to watch, um, her name is Bambi. Um, mm. Baby Playhouse mm-hmm. I used to love her Like oh my gosh She's actually like One of my influencers Well Who I look up to You know I really miss her though I hope she's doing well Yeah And then I can uh, Give shout outs To people like Berlizzi I was a big fan Of his exposed content Cause I'm not really He was one of them <laughs> I mean, yeah I love his exposed content I'm not um, I really don't watch Too many people Play games So it's really Unless it's Rainbow Six Siege I can get to a whole Wormhole about <laughs> The content creators I watch Yeah I'm shy, bro. There's a There's a YouTuber By the name of Jinxie All he do is scream It's like that He is hilarious And then you could think Of like more Siege creators Like Bolo He's more like A pro player Spoiler Another pro player. Um, who's another pro player? Shout out. Matter of fact, there's a guy who used to, he was in like the uh, genesis of like Siege Pro League, but he got kind of like burned out. Shout out Serenity 17. If you know, if we're ever watching this podcast, if you hit the Serenity 17, shout out to him. 
But um, sound like some serious dudes right there. Yeah, okay. right, right, right. <laughs> so so um, um, there's another reactor who um, his name DJ Ghost. I like his content. I like mm. his concept. Um, and then yeah, I can think of people like Corey and um, Dashy, but I like I like them more than their content. If that makes sense. Yeah, they're funny. Yeah, and then Corey just a good dude. Man. And yeah. by the way, he graduated from Michigan State. Don't care. Don't fact check me. Don't fair. We actually graduated from Michigan State. Yeah, he's, he's whatever. A Corey's a Spartan. <laughs> Corey's a Spartan. Yeah, Corey is a sweetheart. My brother used to watch him a lot. That's how he put me on. Honestly, I'm, gonna say, I'm trying to see when did his tour in a Michigan State dorms video come out? Because I remember I watching it, was it, like, it. It was like, 20, oh my god, eleven. Did he have 12? a permanent uh, video? Like, <laughs> yes. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, his hair was straight. Then, like, the more he got, he reverted it back to, like, his curly afro. But, yeah, nah, mm-hmm. he was deep in his perm, straight hair face. He has some interest, too. Not right? Why. No, for real. I would check my phone with some more YouTubers because I um, couldn't think of their names on the spot. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, shout out another podcast. Shout out the Let's Keep It a Buck podcast. You know, shout out people like, oh, yeah, yeah, Demonte, yeah. Let's Pe- Keep It a Buck. Yeah, YouTube, remember you. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Shout out uh, B Souls, TSO Sage, uh, Omar, and then Damo. Shout out all of them. Um, who Wasn't they like arguing? Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that was the funniest video I ever seen. Yeah, I can't see it, but uh, whatever. Oh, did you it, find it? And, uh, yeah, he found what's the it? name of oh, it? That's the, uh, MSC I think tour. he was in South Neighborhood too. I think he had to be like in case. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so weird. Two thousand ten, almost close. Then shout out people like Dom Two K, you know, another basketball creator. How could I forget the legendary Irish Spring Green Green Flight reacts? Shout out my no best way. flight, bro. Shout out flight, shout out flight. I have wow. y'all seen or have you watched Too Hype before? Yep, yep. Did you like them? Not too much of their content, no, because I'm a isn't that Cash Nasty group? Yeah, yeah. I, I like Cash Nasty, He's but I ain't watched a me. lot of them. I don't yeah, know. Cash cool. <laughs> but how can I forget? I talk about them all the time. The owners of the best drink on the ah, market. I, and matter of fact, one I of, love KSI though. I love his music too. But one, one of the best podcasts. Shout out the Impulsive Podcast. Logan Paul, KSI. Shout out Jake too. I like Jake more. As a we are too. not. But shout out Jake. We don't, we don't, we don't mess with Prime. We not, we, we don't represent them. Hold on, I have my own podcast too. They may not mess with Prime. Well, I don't. Spons- mm-hmm. sponsor the we are not sponsored, none of that. Bro, the, only, <laughs> I, bro, the only flavor I like of y'all's is the red, white, and blue. The ice pop, yeah. I don't even like yeah. none of them. It's so nasty. Listen, 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 JJ, Logan, they're haters. Shout out to What's On Your Mind podcast. That's my own personal podcast. Sponsor me or listen to sponsor just take the sugar out, bro. That's yes. all. Yes, no sugar. In yes, it, it is. No it no, is sugar. You, you That's literally Kool Aid. You, you cannot the tell me otherwise. You put the ingredients. Listen, you can't. Hi- you can't lie on those nutrition <laughs> things, bro. What are you lying? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Billion dollar company. <laughs> They just had a sponsor with the WWE. Shout out, bro. Shout out to the best drink on the market. Some of the oh, best YouTubers. Oh, and Simon. And shout uh, out Simon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and Beta Squad. Yeah, yeah. shout out Beta Squad. So for um, do you watch AMP? Any of AMP's content, Shakira? Nah, not really. Okay. I should start. So for Jada, AMP is hilarious. Jada, for Jada and me, I guess. How would you rank the AMP members from favorite to least favorite? Well, favorite to least favorite. Shout out oh all of them, gosh. by the way, because it's hard. Yeah. It's a hard question. Shout out all, all, of all of them. You can't pin them against each other like that. Because I feel like they're them as a group. They fit together so well, but then them individually, they all have different vibes. Mm-hmm. Like, like you have Kai, obviously. He's like the youngest. He's the more like <laughs> wildest. <Mommy> answer. <laughs> <Mommy>. <laughs> His streams are crazy. Like, he'll go from him playing a horror game to him bringing, like, on 21 Savage or a random person. To him in jail. <laughs> with Drewski. To him in jail. Like, he's random. <laughs> then you get people like Phantom. He does the more, like, jail. motivational he's Twitch streams. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let the monsters start. Right, right. <laughs> but, yeah, then you have Phantom. He does more of, like, inspirational Twitch streams, and then he does a lot of Try Not to Laughs. Then you have Agent, and Agent and Duke's kind of streams are kind of the same because they play a lot of games together, but then they more so, they they yappers. Like, they talk. Like, on their streams, they just talk to their chat. Like, mm-hmm. that's all they do. And then, who am I forgetting? Davis and Chris, they don't really stream a lot. Chris makes music. His music is actually pretty good. And then Davis, Davis kind of there. He don't really stream. Mm-hmm. But if I had to pick, like, a favorite that I would, like, put on the most, it'd probably be Agents or Phantoms mm-hmm. because they're one of the people that, like, 
they would be quiet one minute, then you just hear them yelling. And you like, <laughs> what, what happened? happened? <laughs> then you got to rewind, and you're like, oh, okay, that happened. <laughs> then he's like, anyway, so how's your day? <laughs> like, he didn't just break his monitor because he was playing, what's only up? Where I was about to ask, did you see? Yes. I, I probably would have reacted very similarly because yes. that. He broke murder. his whole monitor, and then was at the store like, just kidding, guys, got a new one. What? <laughs> then played the game again. Like, I want what? to be that wealthy in life. Facts, bro. <laughs> he was back, mad. To call back to Vine. How do you say the main actress of uh, Abbott Elementary, her name? Quinta? Yes, I didn't know she was uh, like a social yeah, media person. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wasn't she a part of BuzzFeed 2 or BuzzFeed, something like yeah. that? Uh-huh. I used to love BuzzFeed growing up. I love BuzzFeed but- too. <laughs> I love BuzzFeed. High risk. But, you know. Facts, bro. Yeah. But um, after that, I can think of more YouTubers because I watch um, more. I used to watch Madden YouTubers a lot, like the football game. It was a Did guy. you play? Yeah. Do you yeah. like it? I heard everybody don't like it. Facts. So... Disclaimer real quick before I go on this very angry rant. The views of the the I'll Shades of Chocolate podcast are not the views of the state news. These are more our personal views, so this is not how the state news feels. With that being said, that game freaking sucks. No Bro, way. I can't. He I, said as, that game. <laughs> as somebody who grew up, because I grew up on fighting games and sports games, so I grew up on 2K and Madden. Mm-hmm. I stopped playing both of them around the pandemic because it just, it, I wasn't happy. He was I like, bro, he it, actually it, sat down and played it for I, a long time. Happy. And Madden frustrates me more specifically because I like Madden more. So, and the game is so bad. It, <laughs> That's how I'm, my granddad play. He love him some matter. <laughs> it hurts because I really like football, and it's only so. Here's the problem. So to give context of uh, more an- of some Anthony Lore, I'm gonna start making that a trend of the All Shade Chocolate Podcast. All <laughs> Anthony Lore. I wrote an essay yesterday about, and the topic was, um, how do you feel about competition, cooperation, and compromise? And for, especially for the competition part, or the whole, I think just a page and a half just on the competition part, because I feel competition brings the best out of people. And the problem I feel with Madden and 2K is there's no competitors for them. Like, at least with NBA, at least back in the day, there used to be a game called NBA Live that would compete with NBA 2K, but they stopped making live yeah. games. So it's just NBA 2K, and it's just Madden. There's no other, because they're they're very smart. Shout out them. They bought the licenses to where nobody else can make game. That's anybody make basketball <laughs> or football They say, you know, they we say got no this. more. <laughs> very <laughs> cheap. <laughs> but it seems as though since they don't have no one to compete with and people keep buying their games, it's like, why yeah. would I improve if I keep? No, there's that's no incentive true. to improve. Yeah. That's true. So I'm not part of that problem because I'm not buying y'all product no more. I Uh-oh. just won't play. So, <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> so, I, so I'm very excited. They're making a college football game. They're making another one. They used to make college football games as well, but they stopped making them. But then they're trying to like restart because the um the game engine is different than Madden. And like I've seen people play like the last NCAA game on think like PS3 or PS2. And it seems so much better. So I'm excited for that. But mm-hmm. man, just to again these views are only my views. Probably not even they view. They probably didn't play the game that much. So <laughs> I did it. So, my nice. brother and my granddad got me to play once 2K, and I was just like, yeah, I can't do this <laughs> anymore. For, <laughs> <laughs> uh, for yeah. some people, at least, YouTube sort of replaced, at least for me, TV for me. Like, as I got older, especially for college, where it's not enough time to watch TV, it was made, it's very easy to just put on a YouTube video on your phone or PlayStation or TV or et cetera. So would either of you share that same sentiment? And based on your answer, how much would you say YouTube is a part of your everyday life? Mm. Well, growing up, <laughs> sometimes I had to look stuff up, such as, like, um, when I was in school, I wasn't really – well, I'm still in school, but, like, elementary, middle, high school, I wasn't really good at math. <laughs> hey, I'm still hey, not good at YouTube Damn. University. Like, literally, you look up to on YouTube to do everything. But I used to use that. I used to – try to get into like makeup tutorials and stuff like that mm. i was but yeah i don't it's a i'll just hire a professional <laughs> but yeah it's just like things like those it's a part of my everyday life you know okay, okay. yeah yeah i, I definitely say youtube took over tv for me i don't mm-hmm. really like you know, you know me, my, i noticed that yeah if you know me in my personal life i don't watch tv well yeah. not especially it would have to take me wanting to watch a specific series and then the series one has to be good or else I'm just not going to watch it. But besides that, like, turning on TV to watch TV, yeah, no. I don't mm-hmm. watch TV no more. I never really watched TV per se besides when I was younger. And I really watched it with my sister because she would put it on. And then she wanted me to, like, watch shows with her. But once we got older and started, like, liking two different, like, types of shows and stuff, I kind of stopped watching TV. But then YouTube came, and I was like, oh, y'all are interesting. So, yeah, I consider YouTube my TV because it's kind of like, 
I'm not waiting for a show to be produced by a company. I'm just waiting for somebody to upload. Mm. Yeah. And even then, it kind of makes it more personal because I can type in their comments and be like, hey, Gengi, where you at? And they'd be like, hold on, Gengi, Thursday. And I'm like, bet. <laughs> then Thursday <laughs> come and watch the YouTube video. Yeah, you do create that personal bonding yeah. with the... And yeah. I like how the platform kind of like has it like that to where like you can just show your support versus like a TV. Well, I guess you could too, but you have to like find their Instagram or like mm. find the show's Instagram and then do it that way. And that way it's like... 10,000 other comments there to where they might not see you versus YouTube is kind of like closer, I guess. And then I feel like YouTube, they could make like a four hour video and mm-hmm. then post it on YouTube and I'm gonna watch it for the four hours mm-hmm. versus I'm sure some like big companies, they have a cap on like, you know, 30 minutes, you can only do an hour, mm-hmm. you can only do 40 minutes. So like that exits a lot of stuff out versus a four hour YouTube video, they could post it and you'll see every decision they make, every emotion they have, every reaction to a fight scene, especially if I've played a game and I'm watching you play it for the first time. I want, I know the scenes I want to watch you react to. <laughs> so when you have the reaction, I'm like, exactly right. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. Now, YouTube kind of replaced TV for me because I watch it just like TV. Like, if you come to my room, I always have YouTube on. That's She's it. not lying. I always have YouTube <laughs> on. It's either background noise and it's probably a streamer that I'm watching or I'm watching a series of somebody play a game, but I'm always watching YouTube. Mm-hmm. And can, wait, can I ask y'all a question? Mm-hmm. When did you guys start, like, first started using YouTube, at, like, in general? I was, like, young, like, five, six years old. YouTube been out, like, for a minute now, YouTube actually. YouTube has been out for a minute. I... Middle school, maybe. Middle school, like, when I was getting into it for real. Because a lot of the YouTubers I watch, I, again, got introduced to by my sister because she used to watch them first. And she'd be like, oh, Jada, this name this is Corey Kenshin, and he does his videos. So, oh, Jada, this is Dashie, and all he do is yell. But, like, watch the video because he's funny when he do it. And I'm like, okay, I guess. But I was kind of like you. How could you be playing a game and it be funny? But then it was funny. So I was like, oh, wait, this is kind of lit. And then from there, I guess that's kind of when TV also kind of went downhill with the shows. Y'all keep canceling the good stuff, too. That's no, the good black shows, bro. Like, like, right. What happened to rap? Sh- what happened? <laughs> Again, disclaimer, these are the only views of us, not to stay new. Right, right, exactly. right, right. This is the views of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> these are the views of me. And I say stop canceling the good stuff. But then I guess, yeah, I'd say middle school. I really got into YouTube and just watching it. Then, yeah, I used to look up makeup tutorials. Man. And just look up, what does such and such mean? Or how do you solve yes. X, Y, and Z? <laughs> or just random stuff yes, at the time. Bro. Just looking up. Just like, what does that even mean? But I'm looking up on YouTube. I'm I mean, sure there's a video out there. I mean, before I locked my hair, I looked up, like, the best, like, products to use for yeah. locks and stuff. So, I mean, hey. Oh, what about Waves? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 360 Jesus. 360. Bro, bro, you just got so many brownie fuckers. How are you hip, bro? How are you hip to I got cousins. I mean, what can I say? But see, all right, let me really test your wave, Lord. Bitch, bro. Uh, you hip to Poppy Blasted, bro? Nah. He was another one. He was another way you hip to Poppy Blasted. That's it. That's it. Just that's that's yeah, he was the best, bro. You, are you hip to uh, uh, Sir Cruz? He was a old. He's an older. <laughs> man, he was an older gentleman. Yeah, he, had, he has a really, really good grade of hair. He has like he had waves back in the day. Or in terms of to be more specific about what I mean by good grade of hair, just he very, very like curly, fine, whatever. Yeah. I mean, no offense, just Jesus. But uh, <laughs> um, he would also more recently he like grew his hair out and it's like really, really long and Ooh, like curly and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. So a, we he still got like that type. 3A, 3B type hair. I don't even know, but um, it's some. He, there's a running joke of his age because he never tells his actual age, but he say he like 60, but it's like he, he don't What's look... What's the name of this guy? Sir Cruz, Sir Cruz. And it's like he... We we always wonder like, okay, are you really that old or are you trolling? Because then he'll tell us another age, like, yeah, I'm really in my 40s for real. So it's like... <laughs> here he he too much. Here he and he also, weirdly enough, he always had these unique bow ties. Like, yeah, he has like an oh, apple I as see a bow tie. On- on you uh TikTok. Yep, yep. Yeah. yeah shout out his Sir eyes Crew. are really nice. I think he well, yeah, his eyes are really, really nice. Yeah. But yeah. No, cause I seen that like, people was asking him like about his age and yeah. things like that. <laughs> and also I don't know how we forget. I got a story yes, real quick, is. but to transition <laughs> Shout out Sir Crew. To transition to the story, I don't know how we forgot to shout out the go some of the goats of YouTube, RDC World. I don't oh, know yeah. how yeah, we forgot. We did, we, I said RDC. Yes. Oh, you did say RDC? Yeah. Oh, okay, my bad, my fault. Shout out Mark Phillips, top tier instigator. Mark Phillips is top so tier funny. instigator. <laughs> top yeah, Somebody bro. Post, this is random, but first off, if you know me, big uh big rap fan, big music fan, and especially big uh 
fan of disses in rap and Kendrick dissed J. Cole and uh, Drake. How did we get here? There's, there's a point. There's a point. So somebody had tweeted somebody, Kendrick need to be like, man, forget both of y'all and diss both of them. Yeah. And then it actually happened. Somebody quote tweeted with the picture of Mark and Phillips, a top tier Instagram. Oh, yeah. Just, <laughs> no but, way. So... My, myself along with Jada, her sister, and Jada's boyfriend Stevie, Stevie had the pleasure of going to DreamCon last year. And me, it was me and her sister Janae, and we were trying to find anybody from AMP because somebody had oh found gosh, like bro. Davis in one of the rooms. Kai was in another one, so we like we got to find one of them. I turned on Agent Stream, and I'm like, "Where is he at? Where is he at?" So for some reason, it didn't click He's to me. You. We were in the same room with Agent. Oh yeah, you for Janae real? Janae was like, "He over that way. He by the corner." No we way. Like walked up to this dude, and first of all, he like we kind of like the same height, and he was like holding up. He was in the middle of the stream. And we walked right behind him. He see us standing there. He like, "All right, guys, you know, I'm just I'm in the middle of the stream right now." But see me, we're gonna be in this room in like ten minutes. We did not find that man ever again. But it was just so crazy oh to God. see him in yeah. person. Like wow. Shout out Agent Bird. Oh Shout out Agent Double O Zero. Oh my God. Did you meet anybody at DreamCon or no? Did I? I you met. Saw, I know some people you saw. Yeah, I saw a lot of people. I took a picture with Mama Easy. With hey, Mama Easy, I love you. And then that's Berlin Berlizzi's mother, by yeah. the way. Um, I saw a few people. I didn't really get to meet them because, first of all, I hope this year's DreamCon is at least a little bit more organized because everybody was everywhere. Well, it was when I ran by you, black people. Uh, I mean. Okay, <laughs> well, listen, Mark. When I tell you, Mark was in one room, then Kai was in another, then Asian got a whole camera up like this. He's not lying. He was like this in the big old main room. That everybody was, they was in. having fun. They said. <laughs> then you walk out, everybody like, I just saw Phantom. You're like, where? <laughs> everybody was everywhere. But it was really fun. I liked it. And then shout out your rage, too, because I love oh, yeah, I was able to be your age. We go back. I think it's either the next day or later that same day with Agent. We went back in the room, and it's mainly empty, but there's this big crowd in the middle of this big, giant room. We're like, who over there? Your rage just standing there, just chilling. I'm like... Is that right? Is that right? No <laughs> way. He like, what's good with you? I, I'm, I was also able to meet him twice because he had a meet and greet room, which, by the way, again, the views of us are only all shades of chocolate hosts, but she's not lying in terms of the unorganization. Oh my I God. quite, luckily, I got to meet a lot of people, like a lot of YouTubers or musicians that I watch and listen to because it was so unorganized. I just walked up to certain places. Like, bro, <laughs> like, you just walked up, if, you got in, like, bro, what? It was supposed to be certain stands to where, like, it was only designated for, like, I think platinum badge yeah. members or, like, the content creators themselves. I just walked up there. And shout no out, security, I mean, uh, no shout nothing. Out, no, no, bro. Shout out Tony Stadovici, bro. She met Tony, and then, you know uh, that's gonna be heavily guarded next <laughs> next year or this know, year. I hope so because <laughs> maybe we can just get through the line. Oh my god! It I was sat, so I pretty much sat right next to Danielle. I'm Dante's oh, yeah, shout wife. Out, I'm Danielle. I met Berlizzi's sister. Do you know yeah, her Brittany, name? Shout Brittany. Shout out Brittany. Uh, Mari name. met Mari. Oh yeah, y'all but, saw a good bit of people. I yeah. saw, but I didn't really get it. But just seeing them in person, like wow, you real. Even seeing Corey, no, because even seeing. Corey right. Kitchen on stage. The was first like, ever DreamCon I go to, Corey X Kitchen is there. And we thought he was trolling the whole year that he was not going to go to DreamCon. He's what? like, you know, I could go to a YouTube convention. No, I'm not going to go. He went. What? <laughs> he was, and me and her sister was this close to actually meeting Corey. Yes, there we, was. Was on, we was on the stand. Bro. He was the only one that, out of all the security he, he was didn't have. The he was the one like big yeah. security guard by him. He yeah. had to walk by the platform me and Janae were on. And we, I had just, I wouldn't even didn't get close to him. I walked by the platform. They were security. Like, yeah, oh, oh, I'm like, no. I'm like, as soon as Corey came out, it. everybody like wanted to meet yeah. Corey. Everybody wanted to see Corey. So if you got a picture with him, you were lucky because Corey was by people at all times. Oh my god, it was a shout time. out. Yeah. She just looks through the window. <laughs> but me and Janae, we got a wave though. He waved. He was so yeah, nice. He did wave at them. Yeah, then, bro. I bet he smells so good. Matter of fact, Janae, if you ever <laughs> if you ever watch a podcast episode, so I had um I had left and she was in the still the big platform room, right? So why I come back, she like. I just saw Duke Dennis and his brother walk right by oh, me. Oh, yeah. Baseball. I'm like, wait. Yeah. You let Duke Dennis walk right by you. She's like, yeah, I didn't know if I could walk. I'm like, I would have ripped. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> he blocked him. <laughs> type. Type. Type, type stuff. Type stuff. stuff. Things of that niche. Oh, do the smile. <laughs> no way. Nah, Jim Cone was fun. I had fun. Even yeah. like seeing the people in person, like like you said, obviously I know you're real, but to see you and not be on it's my just screen, like it's surreal. like surreal. Like it's yes, it's yeah. surreal. And I um shouting out more podcasts. Um, what's their podcast name? The You Should Know Podcast. The You Should Know Podcast. I was, I was waiting to do it. I saw Peyton and Cameron. First of all, they're tall. I bet them up. They're like they, I thought over, they was trolling when no, they say they like they're tall, tall. Like yeah. everybody was like around them, and you just see these two tall figures. <laughs> yeah, they're like six, seven, six, yes. eight. Dang. I was like, God, oh. we. 
Yeah, Y'all were lying, but yeah, no, they looked like they were just as funny as they are on the camera in person, and they everybody was just really nice. So as long as we can get the first of all the amount of people in the lines down, oh, we'd be great. We'd be great. <laughs> we'd be great. everybody was nice. It's just that we'd yeah. be great. So yeah. slide me a platinum badge for this year, though. Like, right, slide right, me a right, VIP right, right, badge right. in June for sure. Thank you. So if I were to ask both of you, if you're having a bad day, what content creator immediately comes to mind to cheer you up? Who comes to mind, and what's some of your favorite moments from that content creator? Mine's um, would be it's this another YouTuber. His name is Alonzo Larone. He do like food um, reaction mm-hmm. videos. Know you know him? Yeah. He be on Twitter. He he used to be on TikTok. I don't think he on TikTok no more. But I really like him because he's like really funny. He his reaction to like foods, different <laughs> foods, is like literally so funny. And it's like he be like getting different snacks that's not like even out to like mm. our state yet because i think where he's from like north carolina or something like so that he like he like to go to being bigger on the bed here you go, I mean, here you go. <laughs> but yeah he's no, just really don't start <laughs> don't listen to her that's me, that's me. don't listen to this crazy curl no don't listen to her don't Whoa. listen to her crazy tales so <laughs> Okay, so Shakara Lord. Everybody called me grandma every now and then. Yeah, that's grandma. For sure. I don't know why. Yeah, that's grandma. You just give mom. grandma vibes, but that's a good thing though. Like mm-hmm. we love grandma. Oh, that's sweet. But yeah, he's like really sweet. He was really down to earth and he just really make me laugh. What about you? Oh Dr. my god. Vass. It's literally yeah. Probably all the YouTubers I mentioned earlier, I would put on for having a bad day. But the person I probably put on first, if he still uploaded consistently, would be Corey Kitchen. That is my number one favorite YouTuber of all time. No matter if he ever comes back, the content he's just created, and he he paved the way for a lot of other YouTubers that I watch. And a lot of those YouTubers will say we watch Corey Kitchen. So he was like, oh. It's a black guy doing YouTube. Mm-hmm. I want to do YouTube now. And then they did it. So, and then especially seeing him at DreamCon and the way he spoke about, like, just his story about how he never goes out his house. He he literally said, I don't leave my house until, unless I know it's something worth leaving the house for. So then he went to DreamCon and he was like, no, they're doing a really good thing. So the way that he was just, like, involved with the community, and he's actually one of the first YouTubers, like, of color that, like, spoke up about the racism that YouTube has on that platform. Because mm-hmm. as long as he's been on there, he's like, no, YouTube has favorites and they're not black people. Mm-hmm. But he's the one that really speaks up about that and encourages his friends that are also YouTubers like Berlin and then people that are a part of Some Bros, which is Easy Game, which is also Berlin's um, creation and people like that to still stand on and speak up about it because it's a real thing. It's so real that if y'all remember the life-changing day that Berlin's oh. channel was gone... When I no, I think they was talking about it on Twitter. So I went to his account and I was like, "Ooh, I want to do Dana." No. I <laughs> I was it, like, "What happened?" It's kind of full circle because I found out in the office because I was gonna pull up a video to just watch because I finished like copying a story. So I typed Berlin. I'm like, mm, "Okay, that's his government. Let's type Berlizzi." So I typed Berlizzi. It's like he never existed. They and took his channel away. That's so crazy. It's like he was never there. And when I tell you. The entire world was ready to bat for Berlizzi. Like, oh, we going to YouTube Studios. Like, Literally, where is yeah. Berlizzi? Like, it was hashtag no more YouTube if they didn't give Berlizzi back to the yeah. guess what happened? He got stuff back, back. Hey, man, for sure. Right. And it's crazy because when he came back, he basically was like, you know, thank you for the support. But it honestly makes me not want to do it no more. Because it's like, See, how sucks. can I make the one mistake? But then there was white YouTubers in support of Berlizzi that played the same game that banned his channel. And they did not get banned. And their videos are still up to this day. So he was like I thank you for proving my point but I don't even want to upload no more and yeah. that was his money maker like he always said he went to college you know he got an English degree he always wanted to be an English teacher wait he's a college graduate absolutely wow. he, he kind of looked like an English teacher <laughs> That's what he always said. He was like, bro, if you two fail, I'm about to go teach some kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go teach a kid. But yeah, no. He he wanted to be an English teacher, but then he gave YouTube a shot, and it worked. And he was like, for him to put in all this work and to, you know, collaborate with all these people and to create this name for himself, to it be gone in a second. Yeah, like, he was like, never that's crazy. There, like, was come on crazy. Now. All that work. And he was like, bro, YouTube, all the money I'll bring you. He was right. like, Let me stop. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's just. It's just a shame that you can see that those differences between black and white are everywhere. And if you can't see it, you're just ignoring it because that's the biggest example ever, especially for the platform of YouTube. And I actually don't even think they came out with like a statement or anything about it. You I told think, themselves? Yeah, I think it just kind of like 
brushed off like okay we gave him his channel back people are happy but it's like that wasn't necessarily the point thank you though because now you know he can keep making me laugh and he can keep making money for himself because that's his literal job yeah but it's like that kind of goes back to the point that also could find a feed into why Corey doesn't upload he's like well the platform isn't what it used to be when he first started and he's kind of said that in his youtube videos he was like you know i do it for y'all but at some point if i don't want to do it y'all not gonna like what i put out i'm gonna leave he has over 10 million subscribers he don't have to do youtube no more and it's kind of shown that he don't have to because if he came back and did a video he'd get millions on millions of views but it's just the simple fact of it could take any minor thing to shut him down. And I think that takes the fun out of it. Because now you got to micromanage. And yeah. even Berlin's videos after, he was like, oh, I used to cuss. And they can cuss, but I'm not going to cuss because I don't know what will flag me. I'm not going to play this music because I don't know what will flag me. I'm not going to have this guest on because you might give a certain image. And it's just like, why do they have to micromanage? But then, like, someone like Markiplier. I love Markiplier, by the way. But he don't have to micromanage. Mm-hmm. Markiplier can play anything he wants. And he played the same game, and his video was still up. And he was one of the people to speak about it. And he was issue. one of the people to speak up mm-hmm. about it. Because Markiplier also has millions of subscribers. So it's like, this is an issue. Again, you just don't care enough to fix it. And it comes back all the way to... You, it's crazy when you get to certain conversations and then you'd be like, not to make it about race, but usually a lot of things are about it race. Pretty, yeah. of, it comes back to the topic of we just have to deal with it. Like, no matter what the situations we may be put in or the unfair treatment we may get, if we want to be paid, if we want to have a livelihood, if we want to do our dream job, sometimes you got to get your channel deleted or sometimes you have to get something removed from your platform and not know about it yeah. and then just wake up the next day and be like, I hope it comes back. Yeah. So, That's so sucky. I yeah. hate that we have to live this reality, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, I would never change being black, but oh, being black, sometimes it just... Some stuff just yeah, happens. Uh, yeah. It comes with the job. Yeah. Honestly, job. I mean, it comes with the job. It, it mean, comes with the job. <laughs> some things yeah. just come with the platform. Yeah. But speaking of having a platform, if you two were to take a crack at a YouTube channel, what <laughs> type of content would y'all produce? And do you feel you'd be dedicated enough to pursue YouTube full-time if you had the opportunity? Well, I have a podcast. <laughs> Really? Talk about it. Um, <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> yeah, it's called the Project Gotta Show. It's Woo-hoo. on Spotify. So at first I talked about like lifestyle, basically like okay, so I started it before I graduated high school going to college. So basically my concept was like surrounded by like, oh, you know, um, how to make friends as a freshman in college, how to, you know, get all good well not good grades, but decent grades and things like that. But now once I make that comeback, I don't know when. Come on now. I've been man. messing up. I've been slacking. I'm sorry, but Here you go, bro. Here you go. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but um once I come back, I'm gonna rebrand it to talk about more like entertainment, movies, film reviews and things like that because that's what I really am passionate about because I love films and movies and stuff like that or T V. Um, but yeah, so that's basically my content, you know. So I mean, I could switch over to YouTube, but I would have to really invest into some good cameras and some um, a good ring light and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to stack my bread up and actually put the effort into it and actually put the effort into like my, you know, whole rebranding as a whole and things like that. But yeah. So do you feel if you were in that position to do all that, do you feel you'll be dedicated enough to do YouTube full time? Like, would you do YouTube full time? Honestly, I'll take. It. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take that jump leaf of faith. I ain't gonna hold you up. Mm-hmm. You know. Okay. What say you, Doctor Vass? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'll do with a YouTube channel. Um, yeah. You know what? <laughs> I would. You know, actually, that's a great idea. The Yap Olympics. That's what the I would. Yap Olympics. 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 That's gonna be in her YouTube channel. <laughs> it's gonna be about no, Yap. No, I got that copyrighted. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's going to be be yapping or tips and tricks about standing on business. That's what I do. Ooh, so advice. Yeah, I'm playing with that one, but that actually sounds kind of sweet, so I'm gonna keep that. One. Yeah, but no, I either do that or I probably do gaming, just because I'm really getting into gaming, and that's kind of a lot of what I do. And uh, people who watch me play games, they'll say if you were to record a YouTube video, people would laugh at you because of your reactions, <laughs> because I have really big reactions when I play games. So I'm just like, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why did you do that? No, her and her boyfriend <laughs> and her sister, all three of them can be streamers. <laughs> like, no, because remember when we was playing Mario Kart? <laughs> She was oh, like, oh, my God. <laughs> and no, 
way. And that's not even us trying to force the reaction. That's just what that's comes just out dumb. when it happens. That's just dumb. And the funny thing about it, we was like, bro, we should stream this one day because when we're all in the room, the reactions bounce off of each other. First of all, this is a game that shouldn't even cause big reactions, but if you ever played Minecraft, but if you played it the way we... Listen, listen. Listen, it is a talent. It is the way that... My boyfriend Stevie and my sister Janae plays Minecraft. I need to record them and bring video evidence. Do you believe they're playing something like a, a scary Resident Evil or you know what I'm right. saying? Like the tip, like they have strategies. They talk like, okay, when we go in this, you gotta do it like this. <laughs> if you don't bring this, maybe kill the little piggies. Yeah. <laughs> And then I have video proof because <laughs> I did an assignment. Shout out uh, visual storytelling with phones with Bob Gold. Yeah, I did Bob. an assignment in terms of um, like a how-to. And uh, her sister had showed me how to build a house in Minecraft. And it was so funny because she kept dying. And I kind of cut a lot of footage out because she kept cussing. And I didn't know if that was allowed in my she assignment. She probably was like, <laughs> you every cuss word in the book. You, I, I had to tell him like that. Ain't safe, bro. <laughs> bro, look, bro, it gets serious. Okay, it do. Yeah, it do. if I had to do YouTube, it probably would be gaming or what? What are those people that just eat cooked food and eat it? Like I do my bangs. Like yeah, you talking about like big back? Like the big back can be that's yeah. me. Like no, oh, for real. Zach Choi. He I oh, yeah. love him so much. He be oh, yeah. like cooking and stuff like he deep yeah. fried everything. But it's he so do. I don't know. I love it so much. Yeah, I, yeah, I do those. I'd be like, hey guys, let's eat. <laughs> I love food. So oh, what's her name? The lady with the the sauce and the crab legs. Oh my god, bro! I, I, know I watched. Who you're talking about. I watched for him because I had to stop. Really? Um, <laughs> it be making me hungry. I don't know. It make me hungry, but sometimes I also can't stand like mouth noises. Oh though, so yeah, I you have to don't. Turn it off you're right. Yeah, that's fair. It's like a headphones. I think that's why a lot of people don't watch mukbangs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, my the mic would be away from my mouth. I'd just be like, "Hey, y'all," and then I'd just be like talking. It'd be kind of like I would love to do it like live, so like people could comment and then I could like talk back and forth. People because eating in front of a camera, I'm gonna be like, "Okay, this is nice and all," but <laughs> so you prefer it'll to, get awkward. It sounds, it sounds like you prefer to stream. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just feel like streaming is more natural, mm-hmm. and then like with streaming, it's just out there. I also the only reason I feel like I probably couldn't be as dedicated to a YouTube channel is just because that level of editing is surreal and I just oh, do not know. Yeah. Right. The stuff I mean, he does and the stuff that like Brad do a video, I could do it, but I know that not, I procrastinate yeah. on it. So, but then I feel like with Twitch streaming specifically, because that's what I watch most of my streaming on, or even YouTube live when they go live, it's just kind of whatever happens, happens. And it's just out there. And then some you can save and people can rewatch. So it would be easier for me to do. And then I probably will keep it fun because, like I said, somebody had commented something crazy. And I'm like, bro, what did you just say? <laughs> like, <laughs> and it could be a back and forth like that. But, yeah, either gaming or food because those are two things I really like. Yeah, I personally do. Like, I do reaction videos. That's most of the content I watch. And then I'd also have a separate um, channel for my podcast as well. And then... For my reactionary content, I'd mainly want to do music, but the problem with reacting to music is it's very copyrighted. So, mm, A, yeah. first off, in general, I and I always get into this rant in terms of when I get into um, making, like, if I'd want to make a YouTube video or, or YouTube uh, channel, because I always think about it a lot because I would want to do it, but you already have the issues of, like, getting an algorithm, and a lot of times, a lot of YouTubers have to make content for a while without getting paid or without getting really recognition, yeah. and I just, especially as a college student in the field of journalism, I don't have that much time to full-time YouTube, and then even, let's say, if I were to do it with, uh, like, reaction vid- videos to music, most, some, it's not all, all music doesn't end up being copyrighted, but a lot of it does, especially, like, for example, my favorite rapper is Eminem, I'd want to do a lot of Eminem uh, reaction videos. <laughs> Just last night, I showed somebody that I can rap the entire Godzilla verse with his song with Juice World, and I'm like, All right, do it. That I, I can't do it on cap- copyright, but right, we'll cut uh, this out. Do it. Like, uh, nope, stop it. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it. Um, and like a lot of his music specifically is copyrighted, so mm-hmm. it's just it would be difficult to kind of have a career about that uh, around that, and it would usually when content creators do react to a lot of copyrighted music usually either the label pays them to do it yeah. or they just don't make money from it and then as far as if i weren't to do that like if i were to pivot there's youtube channels and a couple of my favorite youtube channels i don't know i forgot to shout them out earlier is uh jubilee and cut they make like a lot of uh, round table discussions mm-hmm. videos and like i'd react to stuff like that and then it would just i just try to find a way to show my best qualities of like my i've always always been told my reactions are pretty funny as well because like my my shock page 
Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like my reactions I've been told very funny and I'm very attentive, especially when it comes to music, like in certain like sounds or like in the background of like production and then lyrically what's being said and it's just matter of fact he I, be I, like y'all hear that flute right, <laughs> no, right, no you don't hear that flute and matter of fact I mentioned the uh, the Kendrick this earlier but shout out Metro Boomin for his production the, the, Metro he's sweet he, I uh, love that his man. transitions to different beat man shout out Metro yeah but yeah who's your favorite producer favorite producer <laughs> I don't know oh, that's a good question you know, to be honest, this may be a very random name. I, I wouldn't say I have a favorite, but the first one that comes to mind when you just asked me that, Kanye West is a very good producer. Like, Kanye <laughs> as a... And Wait, I know, what songs did he produce? He produces most of his music. Oh, I did, was like, a lot of oh, music he produced. Yeah. I didn't know that. So, <laughs> so shout out the Graduation album. Yeah. <laughs> and I know Ye isn't the most favorite person of uh, people in the world. Shout out the Graduation album. But <laughs> we gotta keep saying. With the music he makes for that really great album, and then, like, the vo- album he just dropped, Vultures. I mean, the beats, the production oh, yeah, he, he does. Just, mm-hmm. just Kanye as a producer, I... I'm a fan of Kanye's music, but specifically as a producer is my favorite part of Kanye. So, I mean, if it wouldn't be Kanye, maybe like The Alchemist, Metro Boomin, just, I'm also a fan of like, you know, soulful beats or like slow beats. Mm -hmm. So, it's just, those are like... Wait, so like, Lo-Fi or... No, but shout out Lo-Fi's YouTube channel. They help me sleep. Shout out (laughs) Lo-Fi. Like, the beat (laughs) is so calming. So, um, just stuff like, or producers like that. Okay. All right, all right. How about yourself? Throw the question back at you. Huh. Hold on. I would say I don't think Matt, I have Hold on, one. especially as an Eminem fan. Dr. Dre. Shout out Dr. Dre. Oh, yeah. Dr. Dre. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Dre. For but, sure. Yeah. Come on now. Well, I like a lot of Detroit producers. Hold on, I got y'all. I don't even know by name, but I got y'all. <laughs> I got you. Y'all talk wild. Look at my Matter of fact, while talk, she's talk, looking, talk, talk. shout out the person who made our intro. Shout out uh, oh, yeah. Antonio. Right. Yeah, another yeah. great producer and musician. Our intro so. five. Yeah. He made ours too, right? Yes, he did. He also made the intro to Going Deeper. So, yeah. yeah the intro is fine. Yeah. Shout That's out. so sweet. Oh my, shout out my guy. What? This is not. No. What? No. And she's struggling to find it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're having some technical difficulties. Uh, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Hey, uh, hey. Go down. Don't have me start. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be like, how water you You know what? <laughs> Let's just skip the question. <laughs> right, we we'll, we'll come back. Come on. Fact, we'll, go to the comments of the video and then comment your favorite comment producer. Your yes. producer. And then we'll comment then we'll ours come if back. we see some comments. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Shout out that. Like, Let's comment, do that. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, com- we should actually start saying that at the end. <laughs> we should like, comment, and subscribe. Especially for this video. Comment. I mean, hey, shout out um, the State News Podcast Network. And right. Shout out to all the other podcasts as well. Because exactly. technically, they're YouTubers, so shout out uh, my fellow co host with Going Deep oh, Radio yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. Liz Nas, House Brand Lights, LaPlot with Sports yeah. Roundtable, mm-hmm. okay, okay, Alex okay. Walters with Alex the 1909. Yes, yes, Alex, yeah. he's such a great, he, he, everything he do, I love it. But shout <laughs> yeah. out Alex. But yeah, so with that being said, do you guys have anything else on your mind in terms of content creation for oh. YouTube? Matter of fact, why, if y'all um if y'all could think about it, if y'all don't, that's cool. But I have another story. I don't remember if I've told on here, but I used to go to school. Or so this is a story how I went to school with Speed, the YouTuber. Yeah, so, well, I was just telling so, Aunt Jada that his dad was. Oh yeah, his dad, dad was the yeah. security guard. Was like, bro, he? You went to school I, with I didn't Speed? know none what of that. Is? No, I, what you didn't know? I didn't yes. even know that. His, but, his yeah, his dad is Watkins. I, Watkins, Watkins. I don't he's know. a security Watkins, guard. Watkins. Oh, him, we gonna talk about off camera. Watch this, but, watch this. I'm so, about to show y'all. Watch this. <laughs> Shout out Miss Sipsock from Chandler Park. She was the uh, Spanish Sipsock. teacher. How yeah, she did. Uh, <laughs> I and, never had her. I had Miss Black. <laughs> yeah, she, shout out Miss Black too. But Miss Sipsock love her. was a really nice uh, lady, and it was this was during the pandemic. It was 2021, my senior year, and. Our school decided to do hybrid education, so a, a lot of people were on Zoom. And then for me personally, if someone who doesn't really fit with, like, learning through a, cam- a computer or, like, a camera, I decided to be in school. And it was no more than, I mean, one, like, maybe six people, seven people in this class. And there was one young man who he'd be right next to me to my right, and he'd always come in and put his head down. And it, I could tell, like, school, at least that class, wasn't really his thing. And um, Miss Sipsock knew that I'd always be open to, like, talking to people and, like, asking, like, hey, if he's, if he's okay and everything. So she would ask me to ask him, like, is he good? And then let him know, like, he still has to do his assignment. And every time I'd try, he'd still, like, he'd just give, like, a nod or just, like, a shove and, or, like, a shrug of his shoulders. And then he wouldn't really, he wouldn't do the work. So then that was for about maybe a month. It wasn't even that long. And... We had noticed, me and my friend Deontay noticed that he had left the class. And then one day I was, um, we was at home, we was on the game, and Deontay was like, 
Hey, you know the uh, the kid you sat next to? And I was like, yeah. He was like, you know you got a YouTube channel? And it had like 10K <laughs> subscribers. And then I'm like, oh, wow, I'm really happy for him because 10K, that's a lot on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And he was getting views. He was playing 2K. And then not even a week later, he like, bro, go to Speed uh, YouTube channel. Million subscribers overnight mm. or almost overnight. We're like, bro, whoa, that is insane. And then a mm. month later after that, 10 milli. He mm. tracks the, you know, traveling the Thought world. You went to school with speed, bro. It's yes, so his crazy. dad was the security and then, guard, bro. Yeah, I promise you. His dad was security guard. I mean, hey, this is a bit of this His name Lord. was Watkins, and he was like one of my favorite security guards, bro. If hey, he, yo, bro, y'all need to catch up. Speed, where you at? I'm <laughs> say, you, but hey, hit us up. Come on the uh, All Shades of Chocolate podcast. You right. never know if you Come ever on, see bro. it. Right. But that was just a crazy thing to live, like, or live. Me and B next to uh, sitting wise. Wait, so did he graduate from CPA? He didn't graduate from CPA. Uh, no. He did graduate, but he didn't okay. graduate from CPA. No, because hmm. he ended up leaving the school. That's why we didn't see him in class. So oh, he ended up the so yeah. But shout it. out Speed. That's a crazy story. Every time I tell it, Ashikara turns the computer to me. Post. Damn. <laughs> that's, Sorry, that's my bad. I didn't. I ain't see nothing. But, uh, shout crazy. out X. But him. I can't see it from here, and I wouldn't want you to bring. No, no, you can, you can stay right there. Are you sure? Right yeah, no, keep it up. Okay. I'm gonna just look at it um, after this episode. Okay, okay, okay. But um, yeah, after that story. With that being said, do y'all got anything else on your mind in terms of this episode? Yeah, no. If I had to say anything, just to like conclude, I say shout out to the black YouTubers because obviously I see you. I love y'all. Y'all are mainly I mainly only watch black YouTubers. Like y'all content is obviously unmatched. It's relatable. Like when they get on Twitch to talk about their childhood, I'm like, oh, I did that. And you know, I know y'all start on YouTube wasn't easy, especially with the platform and just kind of some of the things YouTube stands for and some of the things they allow and don't allow. I know they be hard on y'all, but thank you because the main thing that y'all always talk about is the people that watch y'all. And I'm just glad that the YouTubers I like are really like community people. Like they're not more so caught up in like. Oh, I got to look this way. I got to act this way. I got to be this way. They're just like, well, YouTube going to take me. Y'all going to love me or y'all going to hate me. And I love y'all. And I love that about y'all because it just, it keeps that realism with between like famous and then a person. They kind of remove the tag of them, like considering themselves famous. They mainly just say that they're well known. Like people know me. People know who I am. And I just like that about y'all. And yeah, keep the content going. You got supporters, you know, and uh, please play some games. Uh, y'all haven't been playing games. People been slacking. I need, first of all, with Berlin, uh, uh, what series we on? I don't even remember. Upload. Corey, <laughs> like I said, if you want to come back, please. But love you. Oh, but I was live ask, your life. What's your favorite Corey um, video or game? His that he Spooky played? Scary Sunday series. Yeah. It's yeah. my favorite thing that I rewatch all the time. The alliteration on that, by the way, Spooky, Spooky Scary, Scary Sunday Sundays. Series. Wow. Yes. One of my bro. favorite moments from Corey is when he was playing Night of the Consumers and the pizza guy, <laughs> the pizza delivery man, and he was rapping. He was so cold. I don't know. I feel like I like his raps. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, really a rapper. That's why he don't be on YouTube. He producing music. Hey, hey, right. Corey, what did he just drop a whole bunch of. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for hey, it. Hey, man, Dashy. Collab, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yes. Collab. Hey, give us oh credit. Yes. Yes. Dashy album. be doing music, too. Look, if that's what you're doing, say less, brother. Say less. Just let me know, but say less, brother. Say less. Mm-hmm. And one more YouTuber I want to shout out before we end is just Caleb City. Shout out my man's Caleb. Oh, yeah. Wasn't he at DreamCon? Yep. I don't, oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure he was. I think so. I think he had to stand. Yeah, yeah. he was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But with all of that being said... This has been the All Saints Chocolate YouTube channel where we've brought the sweetest, the hottest black, black culture, culture to MSU. MSU. And remember to stay sweet. Bye.